Author Andy Stanley once said, never underestimate the power of a great question. Find yourself some space, a little bit of time, and a quiet place. Grab some headphones and nestle in. Author and Bible teacher Erica Wiggenhorn shares a beautiful story in which we are asked a poignant question. Will you get in the wheelbarrow? Okay, you ready? Here we go. Sometimes the story we tell ourselves is not really true. Sometimes the story others tell about us is not really true. Here on today's Heart Lift with Janelle, we are going to learn how to rewrite our story. So pick up your favorite pen and journal, grab a cup of something delicious, and start your heart lifting journey towards living a meaningful life. Welcome to your own grand adventure, friend. You have known for a long time greater things awaited you. God put a stirring in your heart. He beckoned you to believe he had more for you, but you have felt stuck. Weighted down by responsibilities and others' expectations, your own expectations. Dreams have felt dashed. Doubts set in. You began to wonder if the more you had believed in could possibly be true. You began to believe your doubts and doubt your beliefs. But today you have taken a long, deep breath. Maybe two or three and decided you'd like to believe your beliefs once again. God is good. God has good plans for you. There is more of God's goodness yet to be seen. God beckons you to believe him for the more you felt in your heart. So you secure your trusty backpack across your shoulders, shifting your weight until that heaviness feels manageable and you begin to trek up the trail. You never go anywhere without that army green canvas bag. It's your familiar arsenal of protection and comfort. It contains all of the contingency plans for all the what ifs in your life, no matter how implausible most of them remain. Yes, it's heavy, but the security is worth it. Before anything is in view, you can already hear the roar of the waterfall. Your heart quickens as you approach the majestic scene. Niagara Falls, a wonder of the world. But as you turn left on the path, a strange sight comes into view. A man standing next to a wheelbarrow is shouting over the roar of the falls and a crowd surrounds him. You move closer and listen to the man as he gestures toward a wire suspended over the raging falls stretching from one end to the other. One slip off the inch wide wire and you would immediately fall to your death. Do you believe I can walk across this tightrope and back without plummeting to my death in the depth of the falls? The people look at one another dumbfounded over such a question. They shrug their shoulders, look back at the man. One finally suggests, Well, if you think you can, I'd sure like to witness a feat as amazing as that. Go for it. The crowd claps in unison. The man boldly steps out onto the swaying wire, stretching wide his arms to balance. He carefully tiptoes across the wire to the other side. With each step, the crowd erupts in awe. We have never seen anything like this before. This is amazing. Who is like you? What other wonders can you do? Is anything too hard for you? 
You're not sure why, but suddenly your trusty backpack begins to feel enormously heavy. So you sling it off your shoulders, dragging it behind you to get a better look at this man. When he returns, the crowd goes wild. He gestures back at them, quieting them for his next bold announcement. He points down to the wheelbarrow. Do you believe I can push this wheelbarrow across the metal tightrope without dropping the wheelbarrow into the falls or plummeting to my death? The crowd begins to shout, Do it! Show us your wonders! We want to see such a marvelous work! Surely you can do it! We have already seen how amazing you are! The man grasps the handles of the wheelbarrow tightly and without hesitation begins to make his way across the swaying wire, his face resolutely fixed on the destination across the falls. The crowd screams wildly, Who is like you? How amazing you are! What can't you do? We have never seen anything like this. Straining to see, You leave your backpack behind, inching in to watch the scene. The man returns to the crowd's uproarious applause. Again, he quiets them. They reverently silence, wondering what grand announcement he may make next. There's something about his voice. It seems familiar to you. Without thinking, you push your way through the crowd to get closer unaware of the icy stares of those around you. Once the stillness almost becomes palpable, he asks in a hushed tone, Do you believe I can push this wheelbarrow across this tightrope without dropping the wheelbarrow or plummeting to my death? You aren't sure if you even responded because the roar of the crowd was so deafening you could barely think but you heard emphatic cries of belief. Of course you can. We've already seen you do it. There's nothing you can't do. You are amazing beyond belief. Who is like you? We saw your works and it was marvelous in our eyes. Again, he silences the crowd. You can't take your eyes off of him now. He seems to be the only one there. Just the two of you. You've completely forgotten about your trusty backpack. You don't even know where it is now. Everyone else is a blur and their rancorous applause sounds only like a small din of white noise in the background. Do you believe I can push this across the tightrope without dropping it or plummeting to my death and bring it safely to the other side? The other side. He seems to be staring straight at you, the other side of your doubts, your fears, your failures, your pain, the other side, the more you know awaits you. Do you believe, he begins. You're not sure you even responded audibly, but you felt your lips move. He stretches out his hand and you notice the deep scar within it. Then get in the wheelbarrow. You turn around to search for your backpack. As if he already knew what you were looking for, he chuckles. (laughs) You won't need that. Wouldn't do you much good anyway. As you nestle down into the wheelbarrow, sinking low into the front tire with your feet dangling over the edge, you can only see one thing, those strong nail-scarred hands gripping the handles and his resolute face gazing across the falls. He takes a deep breath and a grin stretches across his face. I've been waiting for this moment, he says. Then he looks down at you. Are you ready? He asks with a twinkle in his eye. You're not sure. A bolt of fear rips through your chest, yet you suddenly realize for the first time in your life, you are lighter. The trusty backpack of your plans for all the what ifs no longer weighs you down. 
you still remain unable to speak, so you nod almost imperceptibly, but he seems confident of your answer nonetheless. He winks. Let's go then. As he begins pushing you across the tightrope, you see the crowd screaming wildly on the ledge. What's ahead of you? It's out of your view. All you can see is Jesus' resolute face. He knows exactly where he is taking you. His steps sure, his hands strong. For a few moments, you forget that you're suspended in midair on a one-inch tightrope. You are too enraptured by Jesus' beautiful face. He begins to speak. You see, child, there are so many who have faith in me. They stand securely on the edge, claiming how amazing I am, shouting of my wonders and asking me to demonstrate my power and do the impossible. But you, you trusted me. You stepped off of the ledge and into my hands. You left behind your backpack. He laughs as he finishes that last sentence. You chuckle at the irony. What on earth in that backpack could help you in your current situation? He grips the handles tighter and you instantly relax. I invite all of my children into this grand adventure to trust me, to believe that what they have seen me do, heard me do, I can do for them in their own lives. But so few will. They prefer to stay on the ledge shouldering the weight of all their what-ifs and wonder why following me feels so heavy. They miss the grand adventure. We're almost to the other side now, child, and you suddenly realize that while you sat in the wheelbarrow, you could not see where Jesus was taking you. You had no idea how much farther you had to go until you reached the safety of the other ledge, the other side, and it hit you. Your doubts, your fears, your failures, and your pain. You had left it all behind. Those were the reasons you shouldered that weighty backpack. That was the contents of the backpack. But you didn't bring that with you. You were free. Free to trust. Free to believe the more that Jesus had for you. You knew he was good. You knew he had good plans for you. You knew there was yet more of his goodness to be seen. You no longer believed your doubts, nor doubted your beliefs. You believed your beliefs and doubted every doubt. You took Jesus' hand and walked with him into the great adventure that awaited. Jesus is holding out his hand to you today. Will you get in the wheelbarrow? Allow everything and everyone else to fade and sit securely in his unshakable grip of grace, allowing him to carry you to the other side of every doubt, fear, and failure. Your own grand adventure awaits. Will you step into it? Thanks for listening today. It was great having you here. For even more great content and resources, please join the Stronger Every Day online community at JanelleRairdon.com. Always remember, you, my friend, have value, worth, and dignity.